Good morning and a very warm welcome to you all this morning. It's lovely to see you here and welcome you for our Mass for the third Sunday of Advent. I do hope you enjoy the service. We meet in the name of the Father and of the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for gathering us uh, here together this morning in your community, in our church here. Father, we pray that you would touch our hearts. You would open our hearts. You would open our ears and our whole being that we might meet with you in a special way this morning, O Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad, the desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus it shall blossom abundantly, and rejoice with joy in singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who have a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer. And the tongue of the speechless sing for joy, for water shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. And the horns of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there, and it shall be called the Holy Way. The unclean shall not travel upon it, for it shall be for God's people. No traveller, not even fool, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing everlasting joy beyond their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. When John heard in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent word by his disciples and said to Jesus, are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes. Look, those who wear soft robes are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Truly I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> 